because in kind of coinciding with this, we, I did see somebody say something to Cody Rhodes about an opening match, and he was saying that that is a good thing. They you know they want you to set the pace of the show. There might be a little extra pressure on you because you're the first one that goes out there. You kind of got to make sure everything is kind of stays upbeat and you keep the show rolling and you kind of get the crowd into it, so to speak. Uh, absolutely. Uh, it, 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 it definitely, Cody, it's a nail right in the head. It sets the tone for the night. So you go out and shit the bed in that first match. Uh, you know, if you go out there and shit the bed, uh, you know, the crowd, look at it from the crowd standpoint, you know, they've paid their money, <clears throat> especially back then the house is either sold out or damn full. There's an energy in the building, and now the, the lights go down. And it's like the start of a concert, right? Everybody's excited. You go out there and shit the bed in that first match, and it's very, very possible that it's going to, you know, turn the, the, the entire night sour. Uh, you know, it's, you know, later match, the second, third match might have to pick up some slack in that case to try to pull it back, but it's a very, very important match in that sense. But it's also a match that has little expectation from, from the office's point of view. And what I mean by that is they're not expecting you to go out there and, and I see on these shows today and it just makes zero sense to me. Uh, they go out and they'll hit every move they know twice in that first match. Uh, well, if, if you'd have done that back then, uh, you'd have been in the ring tomorrow night and instead of your opponent, Dick Slater would have walked with the curtain. And you pretty much know it was coming uh, because the, the show is supposed to build, you know, so there's supposed to be a, you know, ever increasing importance, ever increasing excitement as the match, uh, as the match is going to second, third, fourth, fifth to the semi main, which was, you know, typically right before the intermission. Uh, and then coming back from that and the first match after intermission, of course, popcorn uh, was just to get people back into their seats. Uh, was you know considered a throwaway uh, match from the, from the company's point of view from from every major promotion that I work for, uh, but that opening match is a very important match in the sense that it does set the tone for the night and that's the expectation from the company uh, for you to get out there get the crowd into their seats get them excited let them know they're getting ready to see one hell of a damn great show tonight and. Uh, you know, again, not meant for you to go out there and display every move you know and, you know, get on the mic and do everything else. It's just literally, here's opponent A, here's opponent B, welcome to the show, everybody, ding, 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 uh, and, and into the match. Uh, you know, so it does set the tone. The, the great part about being in the opening match is, aside from the pressure, uh, once you get into that and you, if you and your opponent are comfortable and say you're going around the loop in that spot, uh, you know, once you get past that, uh, pressure of being in that position and, and, and then comfortable with your opponent, uh, you're done, you know, seven thirty five, you know, seven forty or eight Oh five, eight ten, you're done showered and ready to go out and have fun. Uh, because you know, your, your night's over. Uh, so, you know, most people, uh, when they're younger in the business, abhor the opening spot. Because they yearn for the for the main event. Once you've been in the main event for any any period of time, you yearn you know that opening match so you can get the hell out of there and get back to your room and get to bed or uh, get to the uh, to the club and have a few drinks, uh, whatever. But you know it's it's uh, it, you know it, it, you know every to be to be honest, every match on the card is important. Uh, like I said, popcorn's a throwaway a throwaway from the company's point of view. But they sure as hell don't want you to go out there and shit the bed. Uh, but the opening match, like like you said, Cody Rhodes had mentioned, sets the tone for the night. So there is a, a higher expectation from the promotion on that match to make sure that that match delivers the goods. It's not coincidental that oftentimes in that opening match, you'll see uh, two guys, whether it's two younger guys or two uh, mid card guys, or even sometimes maybe upper, uh, upper card guys, uh, depending on what they expect to get out of that match and how important that particular card is. Uh, it's, it's not coincidence that you'll typically see the promotion put, uh, a couple of guys in that match or a couple of ladies in that match, a couple of girls in that match that they have, uh, either a lot of expectation for, or a lot of trust in. 
because they, they know they're going to be able to go out and deliver those goods. Did you prefer ever? I know you said, <coughs> excuse me, you know, later on, maybe you want to get out of there or whatever, but did you, did you ever actually prefer or, or say to the booker promoter, hey, uh, you know, can I go on first or can we go on first or yeah. you know, can we start the night? Yeah, when I wrestled Chris Jetty in the ECW arena uh, for the ECW world title, uh, Paul called me over and uh, I forget if somebody was sick, hurt, not there, uh, but he said, I don't, I don't have anybody for you to wrestle. And I'm, I thought, well, I'm, you know, I'm the world champion. You, know, you got to have me on the card, especially in the ECW arena. So. so I looked around the dressing room and the first person I saw that was dressed over in the corner was Chris Jetty. And I said, give me Chris Chetty and let me go out in the opening match. There's no fucking way. I said, Paul, this will work. I, it, it was just off the wall enough. The world champion in an opening match against a, you know, a young new kid. Uh, the, you know, ECW was like, you had to always stay one step ahead of what the fans thought you were going to give them. So if the fans thought you were going to go left and you knew that, then you had to go right. Uh, so being that that was such an awkward cattywampus match, you know, the world champion in the opening match against this young guy, the fans, I think at least a good portion of them are thinking, this is so off the wall. Maybe they're going to drop the belt to that kid just as a surprise. And sure enough, that was the way that the crowd went. Uh, Chris was nervous as shit. He was so nervous. And I told him, I said, you know, just go out there and follow my lead. And, you know, when it's time for you to fire up, if you hear crickets, I don't care. You, you, you pretend like you're hearing 50,000 people roar. And I said, the only thing, the only pressure you're going to have is when you hit that double top rope moonsault. You cannot miss that top rope moonsault. You must hit that move. And uh, he, we went out and as I'm laying there, you know, for him to hit that, the, 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 Double top rope uh, moon salt. You know, uh, I'm nervous for him. I mean, please don't miss it. Please don't miss it. Please don't miss it. Uh, and when he hit it and hit it perfectly, you know, uh, from that point, it was perfunctory, you know, it just total elementary. Kick out on two and nine tenths, and you're going to get a hell of a pop from the crowd. And then wherever we went from that point, we had. To. And, uh, but yeah, I, you know, I, I asked for that. And, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure just knowing my mentality at the time, it wasn't so I could get on first and get out of the building because uh, we probably had promos to do all night anyway. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure my reasoning was put put that in the main event spot. A, the fans will be disappointed, not on anything on Chris's part, but because Chris was a new kid. But put that in the first match, and it's just awkward enough, just left field enough that the fans will try to outthink it. And they sure, sure, sure enough did.